It takes 15 hours to get to the town of Khorog, the capital of the semi-autonomous gorno badakhshan region in eastern Tajikistan. The broken road winds its way through the Pamir Mountains bordering Afghanistan. The people here have long complained their demands for better infrastructure, jobs and respect for their distinct culture are ignored by central government. The mountains of Badakhshan have provided a natural defence against all those who've tried to impose their authority on this region for centuries. The Chinese, the Russians, the British, all have struggled to control a people with a distinct culture, a distinct identity. And recent protests here in Khorog suggests that the government in Dushanbe is facing similar challenges even today. The majority of Gorno Badakhshan's approximate 270,000 population are Shia Ismailis. In September, there were demonstrations against what protesters say has been years of neglect and intimidation by the predominantly Sunni Muslim government. Unemployment is estimated to be around 50%. There are no major industries which could offer jobs. President Emomali Rahman, who's ruled Tajikistan for more than 25 years, has banned opposition parties, imprisoned political leaders and journalists, and crushed any independent media across the country. He's also criticized local leaders, often described as warlords, as well as regional government officials for what he sees as their failure to crack down on drug smuggling from Afghanistan. International anti-narcotics agencies say corrupt officials are involved. Tons of heroin and opium are smuggled across this border every year. This government minder refused to let us interview anyone on the streets and wanted names of anyone we had tried to talk to. We contacted one person by telephone and recorded this conversation. It's better not to be involved at all in this kind of issues because it's uh, kind of very dangerous. When you publish something, they will definitely find me and, you know... Sorry, I can't, I, I cannot, I can't discuss this through the phone because uh, I, I don't know whether they can this the Analysts say President Rahman is aware of the risks of a crackdown in Gorno Badakhshan, a region that accounts for almost half of Tajikistan. The people of Badakhshan are easy to mobilize. It's a conservative society. It's enough to just call someone a brother, for him to then bring a thousand five hundred people from his village for support. The authorities know there's a risk of crossing a line. That's what President Rahman is scared of. President Rahman sent the army into the region in 2012 after Badak Shan's intelligence chief was stabbed to death. Around 50 armed men, civilians and soldiers were killed in the fighting that followed. The risk of renewed violence is testing the government again, one that critics say has for years relied on its intelligence services, police and army to silence dissent. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Khorog, Tajikistan.